Hi, my name is Conrad Ricamora from the Broadway musical Here Lies Love, and you're watching Character Media. love is the rise and fall of Imelda Marcos. It's about how crowds, audiences, countries can follow an idol. No matter whether it's a celebrity or a politician, when you stop thinking for yourself, then you stop having that critical eye that allows you to make good decisions and follow actually, you know, the truth and follow facts. I feel like the show implicates audiences in a way that no other show that I've ever been a part of or have ever seen does. You get to experience that uh, ecstasy and then the hangover of the costs of, of following an idol. If people are concerned about the controversy, I don't think our show is controversial. I think if we were doing a show that like glorified the Marcoses, that would be controversial, but we're not doing, I mean, I'm playing Ninoy Aquino. <laughs> I'm playing the revolutionary leader of the Philippines who rose up against the Marcoses and we're showing the people power revolution, what it takes and what it took for a population to rise up against a dictator. Coming back to a character that I originated 11 years ago is such a blessing as an actor because you get to dig even deeper, which is always the goal, to tell the, the story in a, in a more exciting, honest way and get closer to the character that you're playing. And in this case, it's an actual historical person. You never completely let go of characters. They're always a part of you and so having you know, some separation and some time away. And also like living my own life, getting older, like over the past 11 years, getting married recently and uh, knowing what that, there are certain things that uh, I didn't know and couldn't fully fill out 11 years ago that now I really can because I know what it's like to commit your life to someone else, like the way that he committed to Corey. And what that does, you know, when he was imprisoned for, for seven years, having to be away from his family and imagining that, <laughs> I feel it deeper than I did 11 years ago. Welcome to Club Millennium! I feel like it's been a, a really long process doing the workshop 11 years ago. And now, 11 years later, it's finally on Broadway. My pre-show routine starts four hours before the show, eating a salad, something healthy. I'll do a physical warm-up, doing some cardio. Sometimes I'll do some weights. And then I'll do a 15-minute meditation. <laughs> and then I'll slowly start checking in because your voice is so such an interesting thing unto itself. Uh, so you always have to check in as a as an actor, as a singer, um, throughout the day. You're always gonna you're not gonna need to do the same things every day. Sometimes it's gonna feel in better shape than other days, and you adjust your warm up accordingly. So sometimes it'll just be laying on the ground, humming <laughs> on your back to feel the vibrations throughout your whole body, to feel how your body's resonating and then moving into vocal exercises, singing different parts of the show, doing articulation exercises with your lips and your tongue, <laughs> and then sometimes uh, reacquainting yourself with the, the story, and in this case, with the actual historical figure that I'm playing. So if I'm feeling like I need a refresher on Ninoy, I'll go back and watch videos just to get into that, get into his body, get into his, his being, and then just, jumping up on stage and letting the story take you away. It's like riding a, riding a wave. You're not separate from the story. You are inside of the story. That's what makes this show so special. It's unlike any other show that has been on Broadway or is on Broadway. The impact that it has is so much more profound because you are a character in the story, in our musical. You are a part of the cast <laughs> as an audience member. So when you start cheering for any of these characters, 
you're going to experience the rest of the journey that we go on. I feel like a lot of times when you watch a Broadway show, the audience is back here, the actors are up here, and you may get some transference of feelings or of emotion, um, but you're part of the action in this show, which I have no other Broadway show can say. You definitely feel everything that, that we're feeling on stage. You're a character in our show. So that's why I'd say come, come, come experience that because you're not going to get it anywhere else.